live. Mark Atul Das from Z Entertainment and let's listen in to him. He's in conversation with Krishna Kumar from ET Now. We report uh, other income below the EBITDA, so our growth in EBITDA, which is 42.7% over uh, second quarter last year, has obviously not been uh, because of the other income. So let me first talk about EBITDA uh, before I come to the other income. So uh, our revenues have grown at 15.5%, overall revenues, to 11.013 billion rupees. Now the components of the revenue growth uh, has been led by subscription revenues this time and our subscription revenues have grown at 16% to record 4.58 billion rupees of revenue this quarter. And within that, if I were to split the components of domestic versus international, then domestic uh, subscription revenues have grown at 19.3%, which is again uh, very, very substantial growth and it has been aided by uh, continued uh, digitization in phase one and phase two and our ability to monetize uh, those revenues better. And our international subscription revenues have also grown at 7.9%. So a combined growth on subscription revenues has been about 16%. Uh, talking about advertising revenues, again, a very good performance, we believe, because um, the industry, in our view, television industry, would have grown about 13 to 14% uh, during the second quarter of YOY. And Z has grown at upwards of 20%. The numbers that we have recorded, 10.5% growth, do not take into the fact that this year in the second quarter we had uh, not many significant sports properties, which was there in the last year's second quarter, and therefore those numbers are not uh, really strictly comparable. So if I were to look at X sports, then our growth uh, Y Y in second quarter has been about 20%, which is again significantly ahead of the industry numbers, and um, we believe that um, that's been led also by incremental market share gains that we have seen in several of our channels during the year compared to last year. Uh, what have been the sports losses uh, this quarter and how much of uh, rupee depreciation uh, has contributed to it? Uh, this quarter we have ended up with 191 million rupees of uh, sports losses which is uh, small uh, because obviously we didn't have many sports properties uh, but next quarter quarter and, and the balance part of this year of FI14, we do have significant sports properties coming up and therefore the losses in the second half are expected to be higher. But um, yes, the rupee depreciation does impact the sports costs negatively because many of them, uh, other sports contracts are dollar denominated and therefore we will suffer some impact because of the rupee factor also. Uh, and what about rupee impacting a company positively in terms of uh, overseas uh, subscription revenues? And you know, how much of an impact has it has it has, uh, has the rupee uh, uh, you know uh, change in the value of rupee impacted your overseas uh, subscription? And what's the outlook on that going forward? See, currently uh, we have a natural hedge in terms of our revenues and cost uh, as far as dollar denominated uh, costs are concerned, and. Uh, Therefore, while on one hand uh, the costs on the sports properties do go up because of dollar uh, and rupee fluctuation, but we also gained, as you rightly pointed out, revenues in terms of our international revenues. So okay, that's the Z Entertainment Management, first in ET now, talking about their earnings. Quick break, when we come back, commodities.